Hi everyone, Simon here, Solomon's Tales. Part three, I thought I was gonna try and do this really quickly, but I'm enjoying it. He's got a girl. He picked up in the nightclub downstairs in our hotel. Brought her back to the room. Great aerobic session, really good workout. And he sparked out, the jet lag kicked in. He went out like a light. Woke up in the morning. Bit of a daze, looked around, thought, where am I, what's happening? Oh yes, and then, oh, I brought a girl here. She's not next to him, can't see any clothes around the room. Bit of a panic, jumps up, goes to the bathroom, she's in there, no. Oh, where's she gone, what's happened? Looking around the room, he thinks, oh my God, has she uh, taken anything of mine? His shorts are on the side, uh, his t-shirt, goes to the safe, safe's closed, punches in, electronic safe, punches in the button, open the safe, everything's there. It's just strange, he closes the safe, locks it, thinks, oh, I had a couple of thousand baht, bought some drinks, she probably took the money and gone. Goes to his shorts, hand in the pocket, pulls out about 1100 baht, and he thinks, well, I'm sure I bought quite a few drinks. I haven't paid the girl, where is she? She hasn't taken anything, everything's there. He thinks this is strange. Yeah, oh well, never mind. Uh, maybe she'll pop back later for some money and uh, whatever. He thinks, oh, that's peculiar, never happened like that before. Anyway, has a wash, checks the time on his phone and it's about 11 in the morning, so he's had a really good sleep. He's feeling much more refreshed. Breakfast, gotta have some food. Throws his phone in his pocket, bit of money, locks the safe. Casual clothes, out the hotel. The hotel don't do breakfast, or if they do, he didn't tell him. And he thinks, I'll go back to the bus stop. It's just down the road, I'll get breakfast there, try it. And he wanders down into the bus stop. Lovely breakfast. And there's two floors on the breakfast, you can sit upstairs and you can just about see over the high wall at the front and notice um, a couple of hotels opposite it all looks reasonably quiet outside finishes breakfast he thinks what am I going to do today, it's time now to move I've done the one go go bar in Nana it's pretty much all the same in there, I'm going to go and try cowboy tonight soy cowboy down Circumvit Road, Soy 21 on the left, Soy 23 on the left. 20 metres in either of those roads is a connecting road between called Soy Cowboy. He thinks I'm going to go there tonight. Right, back to the hotel, change my clothes and have a wander around. Okay, gets back to the hotel, walks through the front door, and the guy at the desk of the hotel is beckoning him over and there's a girl stood there and he, he sort of vaguely recognises her and he goes across and the guy said this girl with you and he looks at her and she's like and he, oh it's the girl from last night yeah yeah she's with me he thinks I'll take her to the room and sort out the money and everything yeah then the man says to him um, you not book tonight tonight we're full you must finish your room by 12 o'clock. What? You're full? You... Hotel's full. Fully booked. Oh, great. Got to move hotel. Huh, okay. Anyway, up to the room, takes this girl, jumps on him, all over him again, and he has to oblige. Oh dear. This poor girl needs some exercise. Got to help her out. She's a crazy girl, crazy, energetic and fun and brilliant girl, you know, really good, really good fun. Anyway, an hour, it's, it's sort of, it's gone past 12 o'clock, he's supposed to be out of the room. And he says to this girl, look, I've got to move hotel and thank you and I will pay you now for everything for last night and today. Um, and he said how much and the girl turns around and says 5,000 baht and he's like no way am I paying you 
the going rate was about a thousand baht for the short time she stayed all night and another morning okay give her three thousand bucks it's brilliant pulls three out and she's like Meh. and he's like that's it and she's like Ugh. grunts off she goes out the door that was a lucky escape he could have been stung for the whole five she's gone brilliant grabs his bag throws everything in it he hasn't got much still and he's out the hotel he's homeless <laughs> Now, he wants cowboy in the evening. Now he decides, I'm gonna have a bit of luxury. I've read about a, apartments, suites. I want some real luxury on this holiday a couple of times. Why not now, it's a good time. Hmm, he's got his case, it's a pain to walk all the way up Sugham Bit Road. It's, I mean, it's not far, but it's maybe a quarter of a mile, half a mile. The pavements are uneven and you're fighting through people he thinks I'll just jump in a, a tuk tuk he throws his there's tuk tuks there in the car park how much 100 bar everything's 100 bar <laughs> alright he said soy 23 so a bit jasmine sweets the place he read about and the tuk tuk knew yeah now we're okay 100 bar throws, it, throws his case in the back of his tuk tuk and jumps in taking your own hands uh, your own life into your own hands with tuk tuk drivers they rev those things and pull away into a wheelie. It's like they go in around the traffic. They're mad. Anyway, five minute trip straight up the road at Sukhumvit into 23, soy 23. 20 meters in on the right hand side is a hotel apartment complex with a pull in for taxis. Tuk Tuk pulls him round in, pays him his 100 baht, no tip. Pulls his case off the Tuk Tuk and Heads in, Dormer opens the doors. Check in is on the third or fourth floor, so guy points him to the lift, tells him, Never been in here before, and it looks really nice from the front. This could be expensive. Gets in the lift, third, it'll only let you go so far without a card, so he got him up to the third or fourth. Come out of the lift, there's a beautiful little pool there. Um, maybe it's a fish pond or something and a reception he walks over reception rooms um, only one night because it's going to be expensive and the lady says to him um, we haven't got any standard rooms we've only got junior suites they're normally 7,000 baht a night and this is back in 2000 7,000 baht a night However, if you stay for three nights with us, we will do you three nights, no breakfast, just the room, for 15,000 bars. And he's like, nah, too much. The girl immediately comes back, okay, 12,000 baht for three nights. Oh, he's like, 7,000 a night, 12 for three nights, God, I'm going to do it bit of luxury so 12,000 baht he just pays cash there and then there you go bang they also want imprint off his credit card just in case okay there you go they give him a credit card swipe card thing for the lift and explain that any visitors have to check in at reception ID cards have to be handed over the reception will keep them once the visitor leaves you at any time of day and night, they come back to reception and get the card. The reception will ring you to check everything's okay before releasing the card. And if anyone comes to visit you and you're in your room, they'll have to come to reception to be able to get authorization and then a card to get to you, to your room. So you're totally secure. No crazy people can get up to your room without reception giving you the nod now that is a great place to stay if you want to be left alone if you guys have got one girl one night and another another night and the other ones can't get back to you they're locked out safe worth paying a little bit extra maybe for some of these hotels anyway Solomon's like luxury three nights what I'm going for it 
up he goes. It's a junior suite. Oh, it's beautiful. Kitchen area. Desk, big desk, seat, telephone. Nice light over the desk, just like a writer's desk. Beautiful big desk. Lounge area is large, setty, big screen TV, LCD on the wall. And then off in the one corner is bedroom. Big, king, queen, whatever, the big size bed. And then another door off into a beautiful bathroom. This is only junior suite. Imagine what the bigger suites are like. And the bath is a spa bath. It's got all the little blowy um, vents and things in there to bubble up. There's a bubble bath. Quite a large, long bath. Beautiful bathroom. This junior suite is, it's like a five star. Absolutely gorgeous. Free water, but everything else in the mini bar and on the side you pay for. Reasonable price, it's not, not too expensive. You know, beer there's 80 baht, so no problem. Beautiful room. So he finds him, he, it's, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, he's checked in. He hasn't got much stuff to unpack. He's there for three nights, he thinks, brilliant. Cowboy tonight, that's it. But first, he had heard in his two times in Patea, a couple of other places have been mentioned, even though he knew everything. Remember, he's a know-it-all. There was two other places on his hedonistic hit list. One was Soy 7 stroke one, a club called the Eden Club, later. And Soy 7, down there on the left, back in those days, was a beer garden. Freelancers, all those ones, the nutters from the club and stuff, they're all there in the daytime. And he's thinking to myself, beer garden. Got to experience this suite, the bed, everything. Hedonistic holiday. Can he go down there and find a nice lady? His shoulders are hurting, he needs a massage. Actually comes to the hotel. Everyone's opening the doors for him. Yeah, down in the lift, doors open by a nice concierge. So he's up at Soy 23 and he needs to get back to Soy 7. That's a bit of a pain. Um, but he thinks, oh, I'm just going to walk it. And he walks down Cowboy, which is almost dead opposite his hotel. And there's a few girls there and it's it's not lit up in the daytime. It's just cars going up and down and bikes. Walks down Cowboy, around the corner at 21, down Suckham Vic. There's lots of street vendors, even though it's about 2, 3 in the afternoon, starting to set up bits for the evening in the evenings they've they've got the vendors all the way down selling all sorts of things clothes and gadgets and stuff so 20 minute walk down he goes halfway down he sees there's a robinson's or something on the right um and notice there's a it's either a mcdonald's or a kfc or something he notices that but he didn't he's not fussed at, he had breakfast, it wasn't that long ago, but something, he wants some Thai food. And he keeps going down, he spots Soy 7 one where it is, remember that. Next Soy, Soy 7. Heading down, on the left in the distance he can see the beer garden. There's a sign there, sort of big bushes all the way along, bushes all the way along with a gap in the middle. But on the right is a food court, he thinks, oh perfect. Into the food court different little shops there selling food and grab some Thai food tin tables or whatever loads of them maybe 30 40 tables with seats grab some food sits down cheapest chips the food finds himself looking at the across to the beer garden and he's eating it's got a coke notices quite a few guys and girls going in and out you know guys going in coming out with a girl quite a bit of traffic so he thinks this this could be good eats his food and heads over towards the beer garden. Oh, this episode's gone on again. That's three episodes. It was only gonna be one. Maybe I talk too much or talk too slow. I'm sorry. You can always just turn them off. I'll catch you on the next 
Episode 4. <laughs> Solomon's Tales. <laughs>